great honour and indeed a privilege to be able to represent uh, East Antrim in this place. Before uh, I move on to speak to the uh, subject on the order paper, uh, I want to pay tribute first of all to my predecessor, Mr Sammy Wilson. He served in this place since 1998 and uh, I was able to see firsthand uh, the commitment and dedication that he had towards the people that he represents. In the constituency, he would work very, very hard on the issues that mattered to people there. In ministerial office, uh, he served all the people of Northern Ireland. And in this chamber, he robustly represented the views of his constituents in his trademark way. And that was uh, forthright and was short on neither uh, humour uh, or passion. And uh, we want on these benches very much to thank him uh, for his service, for all that he has done uh, in this place, and uh, to wish him well as he continues to serve the people of East Antrim at Westminster. Mr Speaker, it gives me no pleasure to speak on this matter today. I wish that we didn't have to. I wish that murders like these were a thing of the past. I was born in 1986. I have very few memories of the bombs, the violence and the bloodshed that was all too common uh, here for those that were born in the decades before me. Thankfully, that which was commonplace is now uh, much rarer. However, the murders of these two men demonstrate that it has not been eradicated. I have read with interest the motion that Sinn Féin members have tabled. I believe that they think in tabling this motion that they are displaying leadership. But in fact, I think this motion actually highlights their failure to demonstrate leadership on these issues. Let's look at the three aspects of this motion. First of all, that this assembly condemns the murders of Gerard Davison and Kevin McGuigan. That should go without saying. I am willing to stand here and to condemn all murders, whether they happened in the 1970s, the 1990s, 2015. It doesn't matter. They were wrong, and they are still wrong. And here's where we see a failure in the leadership of Sinn Féin, because they fail to condemn the IRA. And the IRA did not discriminate when it came to murder. Adult or child, that didn't matter. Protestant or Catholic, that didn't matter either. Civilian or a member of the security forces, none of those things mattered. But where is the condemnation of those murders? Yes, we have the condemnation now, but where is the condemnation of those murders, the condemnation of the IRA? If that were to take place, that would show real leadership. And again, then what does it say in the motion next that they want to extend their condolences to their families? That would seem like a compassionate thing to do if it were not for the fact uh, that they um, have continued to compound grief and sorrow by failing to tell the truth about what has happened in the past. And then finally, the motion calls on people to go to the police. But again, that only highlights Sinn Féin's failure to provide information uh, to the police. Where is their willingness to provide information on what members of Sinn Féin had done uh, and the, the atrocities that they had carried out uh, during the Troubles? Where is the justice there that they seem to be so interested in in this motion? Uh, Mr Speaker, I hope that in the future this House will not need to meet to condemn murder by paramilitary organisations. I hope that they will all be consigned to the past and that justice will be done. That then will allow us to move forward 
and create the type of society that we want to live in and that we Thank you. want to see. Thank you. Thank you. And